Thank you, Mr. Speaker. With uh, sadness, I rise to adjourn this afternoon in memory of my father-in-law, Manuel Garcia. He passed away this fall in Santa Ana, Orange County at the age of 76. But also with pride, I rise to, to share his story, the story of, story of Manuel Garcia. A Mexican-American immigrant, he lived the California dream and lived a great life. He was born in the Mexican state of Zacatecas in a little, small town called El Cagarero. He grew up in poverty and loved to learn. However, his schooling was cut short at the end of the sixth grade. However, he had a plan B because he loved school so much. He asked his family in the school, could he go to sixth grade again? And they said yes. Unfortunately, there was no middle school for Manuel, so he went to work with his family in the agricultural world. Uh, but after a few years, realized that he needed more to provide for his family. And so, like so many, he, um, he went north, came to California in search of, of a better life. He, um, he stopped at the uh, Mexican border, waiting for his number to be called via the Bracero program. Waiting for his number, he had no money, but he had a dream. And he discarded fruit scraps to sustain himself, waiting for the opportunity to cross the border to come to work as a farm worker. He did, he succeeded, he eventually settled in Southern California where he went to adult school to learn English, to become a better Californian, and he was a rapid learner. Within months, he learned how to read the local newspaper and was a 30 year plus subscriber to the OC Register. He found a good middle class life in construction, became a laborer and a 50 year member of Laborers Local 652 one of the only handful of members who've been active for over 50 years. This middle class job enabled, enabled him to buy a home in Santa Ana where he met his wife, Reynalda Garcia, had a family and helped others as well. It's one of the great uh, testaments for Manuel Garcia is he remembered where he came from, remembered his family. So over the next two decades, dozens of Garcia family members came and lived in his house, in the back of the house, in the garage, as they tried to get the California dream because he succeeded and he wanted his family to have the same opportunity as he did. This is one of the most endearing and everlasting memories for his extended family. He loved sports. At that time, he loved the Dodgers because of Fernando Mania, and that became his passion. He coached the local Little League teams and became somebody who not just coached the team, but looked after neighborhood kids who needed some extra guidance. He supported his local town in Cagadero with a local club there, helping raise money to send it home to the village who needed so much help. He was always intrigued about national, state, and local politics, but because of his education, never had the opportunity to get engaged. And unfortunately, he didn't become a citizen for the first three decades of his time here in California. That all changed like so many in the 1990s when he saw the attacks on immigrants, on immigrants that looked like him. He said no more, stood up, took the classes, became a citizen, and was proud to cast his first vote in the 2000 presidential elections, and was super excited not to only vote, but become an active uh, voter and engaged citizen, later meeting his local representatives, then Assembly Member Lou Correa, then Lieutenant Governor Cruz Bustamante loved talking about politics with them. He was super proud to see his daughter, Leticia, run for school board this past fall. She won days after he passed away. Again, while gone, he lived a great life, one that mirrors the California dream here in our great state of California. He leaves behind a tremendous legacy and is survived by his wife of nearly 50 years Reynaldo Garcia, nine children, 13 grandchildren, including my kids, Victoria and Barbara. And uh, with us today are two of his children, Leticia and her brother, David. Thank you. I ask we adjourn his memory. And Mr. Daly, you are also recognized on this AIM. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's an honor to join my colleague, Mr. McCarty, with this adjourn in memory. Manuel Garcia was a resident of the 69th Assembly District for more than 50 years. As a member of the Santa Ana Actors Club of the Yost Theater in downtown Santa Ana, 
He helped bring Spanish-speaking performances to the growing Latino community in that city. As was mentioned, he was a longtime member of Local 652 of the International, of the Laborers International Union. While he was a working member, he worked on a number of significant construction projects, including expansions to the Interstate 5 Freeway and the Indiana Jones Ride at Disneyland. In his retirement years, he worked part-time as a janitor at Angel Stadium, enabling him to enjoy many professional baseball games in the process. I think that's why he worked there. It was the games more than the money. Please join me in offering sincere condolences to Assemblymember McCarty, to Leticia, and to your family. 